Imagine unearthing the world's most peculiar treasures in the last place you'd ever think to look. From oddities tucked inside everyday items to priceless relics gathering dust on thrift store shelves. The Bread Surprise Imagine a world where everything appears crystal clear. That's the joy of wearing glasses for many. But we all know the little annoyances that come with it. The sudden fogging up of lenses when sipping a steaming latte, or the haze that forms when stepping out of a cool car into humid weather. While these are common struggles for glasses wearers, there's one spectacle-related mishap that will truly leave you stunned. In 2016, the internet buzzed with an astonishing tale. A story so unexpected it almost feels like a work of fiction. A Reddit user narrated the incredible episode of a friend's lost eyeglasses. Brace yourselves, because this isn't your everyday misplacement story. This friend had managed to bake his glasses into a loaf of bread. Yes, nestled within the soft, fluffy interior and shielded by a golden crust, was a pair of eyeglasses. Now, one has to commend his baking skills, producing a perfectly baked loaf. But surely, enjoying a sandwich is off the menu until his vision is restored. Thankfully, the glasses emerged from this culinary journey unscathed. Remember, a good pair of glasses isn't pocket change. But the real enigma here is, how did this happen? Was it an innocent oversight? A quirky prank? or a downright peculiar accident. While the true origin of this tale remains wrapped in mystery, it serves as a light-hearted reminder. The next time you break into a fresh loaf of bread, give it a quick look over. You never know what surprises await within. The Lego Odyssey. In the sun-kissed year of 2011, the serene Florida beaches held a secret waiting to be unveiled. Amidst the waves and golden sands, a lone Lego man emerged, catching the eye of every beachgoer. But this wasn't just a child's lost toy. It was a beacon of intrigue. Etched in bold capital letters on its surface were the phrases Ego Leonard and the enigmatic No Real Than You Are, fueling fascination and wild theories. Now, here's where it gets more mystified. This wasn't the Lego Man's first appearance. Identical Brethren had washed ashore in the UK and the Netherlands four years earlier. Whispers began to circulate. Could this be a grand marketing scheme for the newly opened Lego Land in Florida? The park's management, however, was quick to distance themselves from this giant Lego enigma. But as the tide of time rolled on, the truth emerged. This Lego Man wasn't a forgotten toy, nor a marketing gimmick. It was art in its purest form. Behind this engaging concept was Dutch artist Leon Keer. He didn't stop at just creating the figure. He breathed life into it, dedicating an entire website to the Lego Man's escapades. Visitors of the site are greeted by tales of Lego Man's adventures. They are encouraged to weave in their narratives, making it a beautiful tapestry of whimsical tales and boundless creativity. This Lego tale, in all its delightful twists, is a homage to the beauty that emerges from the most unexpected of places. From Dream Home to Reptilian Realm In life, some twists and turns seem too extraordinary to believe, as if fate has played a mischievous hand. Enter the gripping tale of Ben Sessions and his wife, two unsuspecting souls caught in a genuinely unexpected quagmire. Imagine their joy. The Sessions, new homeowners, thrilled with their pristine abode nestled amidst Idaho's tranquil landscapes. It wasn't just a house. It was the culmination of their aspirations, a sanctuary of peace and solace. Yet, as the days unfurled, their dream home began to reveal a startling secret. Instead of the anticipated bliss, the house echoed with the unmistakable sounds of garter snakes. And it wasn't a solitary intruder, or even a few. Their home was teeming with them. Thousands of these serpents had transformed their house into a writhing, slithering refuge. The magnitude was such that on a singular day, with courage and a will of steel, Ben rid their home of 42 snakes. But why was their home the chosen residence of this reptilian horde? Upon digging deeper, Ben uncovered a chilling revelation. Their dream home, unbeknownst to them, stood atop a massive snake den. 
This construction oversight had granted the snakes unhindered access to every part of the house. Every crevice, every corner was a gateway from their underground lair to the Session's living spaces. Despite their initial resolve, the Sessions faced a reality too daunting to bear. In under a year, they put the house back on the market, departing with not just memories, but a captivating tale. A tale of dreams, surprises, and the undeniable resilience of nature that would captivate listeners for generations. The Monk Inside the Buddha Monks, revered across cultures for their deep-rooted commitment and unwavering discipline, often follow religious rituals beyond ordinary comprehension. Their practices are the core of their existence, shaping them as spiritual beacons. Yet, even amongst such devout souls, some tread paths less traveled, demonstrating an awe-inspiring dedication. Such a story unfolded when a seemingly ordinary Buddha statue underwent a CT scan. The results were staggering, concealed within the sanctity of the statue was a preserved human body. But this was no ordinary internment. It culminated in a profound spiritual journey. The body belonged to a respected patriarch and a master of meditation. His aspiration was beyond the mortal coil, aiming to transcend into the state of a living Buddha. To realize this lofty vision, he embarked on a relentless regimen that spanned over 2,000 days. By embracing a strict dietary regimen, he meticulously prepared his body for its eventual transformation. He consumed specific nutrients to minimize body fat and optimize himself for mummification. Once ready, he entombed himself within the statue, adopting the meditative lotus position. Here, cocooned in the statue's embrace, he continued his meditation, transitioning from life to a state of eternal enlightenment. The statue's tomb was sealed, enshrining him as a living Buddha. Such tales of unparalleled devotion offer a window into the depth of human faith and spirit. While to many, this monk's journey may seem extreme or incomprehensible, to him, it was a voyage toward ultimate purpose and profound inner peace. The Teddy Bear In the quaint surroundings of a Tennessee town, a family day out took a turn for the unexpected. Celebrating their child's win at the fair, a fluffy teddy bear, the family was excitedly buzzing. However, upon closer inspection of their newly acquired prize, they stumbled upon a rather unusual find, a concealed camera strategically placed in one of the teddy bear's eyes. Alarmed and concerned for their child's safety, the mother didn't waste a moment. She contacted the Lebanon Police Department to shed light on this unsettling discovery. Authorities wasted no time. They meticulously examined the teddy bear and spoke at length with the booth operator who had handed out the prize. Relief washed over the concerned parents when they learned that the teddy bear, with its concealed camera, wasn't the work of someone with nefarious intentions. Instead, it was a simple nanny camera designed for far more benign purposes. The booth operator clarified that he had procured an extensive collection of plush toys from a discount store in Georgia. It appeared that this particular teddy, equipped with its secretive camera, had either been a returned item or slightly damaged and had inadvertently made its way back onto the shelves at a discounted rate. The good news? No other teddy bears at the booth harbored hidden cameras. For those unfamiliar, nanny cameras have become a staple in modern households, primarily utilized by parents who need to keep a watchful eye on their little ones and caregivers during their absence. These surveillance devices come in a myriad of designs. From ones craftily hidden within everyday objects like teddy bears and wall frames, to more overt models visible to everyone in the room, they've revolutionized the way many parents ensure the safety and well-being of their children. Patty's Purse In a tale reminiscent of stories from the silver screen, an unexpected discovery shook the very walls of a decades-old school. Hidden away for over six decades and blanketed under years of dust, an old purse resurfaced, unraveling a nostalgic journey back to the 1950s. Though the leather might have aged, the contents within the purse remained remarkably intact, 
serving as a pristine window into the life of a teenage girl in mid-century America. School administrators, equally intrigued and determined, delved deep to trace the purse's lineage. Their quest led them to Patty Romola, an alumna who had bid the world farewell in 2013. Unzipping the purse was like taking a step back in time. From a neat comb to vintage makeup, Patty's possessions painted a vivid picture of her teenage years. She had membership cards from different clubs and the public library, reminding us of when such cards were a teenager's passport to the world. A stick of gum and a high school football season schedule were further testament to the simpler pleasures of yesteryears. But it wasn't just memorabilia. The purse was also home to several coins. Each of Patty's five children, in a heartwarming gesture, decided to keep one coin, immortalizing a piece of their mother's past. This discovery, more than just an old purse, was a treasure trove of memories, connecting a family to their beloved matriarch in the most unexpected of ways. The Secret of the $20 Sofa In a tale that intertwines fate with fortune, a group of college friends, operating on a tight budget, decided to invest in a modest second-hand sofa. Little did they know this seemingly mundane acquisition would forever change their college years and redefine the value of thrift shopping. After paying a mere $1.20 for the sofa, they settled it into their shared space. As months passed, they felt an irregularity in the arm cushions, a hidden depth beneath the plush fabric. Driven by intrigue, they delved into the recesses of the couch, unveiling a cache of $40,000. It was the kind of windfall most students only dream of, an unexpected boon that could easily alleviate their financial pressures. Yet amidst the euphoria, an enveloped name hinted at the money's origin. Guided by a compass of integrity, they sought the rightful owner. Their search led them to an elderly widow from New York, who had unknowingly parted with her husband's secret savings after his passing. Touched by the trio's honesty, she rewarded their good deed with a $1,000 gift. Their tale, rooted in a humble sofa, not only painted a lesson in integrity, but also showcased the serendipity life sometimes offers when least expected. Guest in the Greens In the quaint town of North Shore, Wisconsin, 2019, ushered in a dining tale that would be retold for years. The Allen family, health enthusiasts, brought home a carton of organic lettuce from the renowned Pick and Save in Glendale. Little did they know, their green dinner would come with an unexpected guest. After letting their greens cool for the day, the family was ready to indulge. But as they unveiled the carton, a live frog leaped from the midst of the lettuce leaves. Carly, holding the carton, was taken aback her scream resonating through their home, drawing the entire family to the scene. The sight was truly one for the books, a lively amphibian making itself at home amidst their dinner. The incident left the grocery store staff scratching their heads, pondering the journey of this small stowaway. Yet, an answer emerged from Pick and Save's parent company. The lettuce hailed from a USDA-certified organic farm where the absence of specific pesticides and artificial additives means nature thrives unchecked. This ethos occasionally allows nature's little wanderers, like our froggy friend, to hitch a ride amidst the greens. Though they understood the organic process, the Allen family took a brief hiatus from their salad regimen. The unexpected dinner guest, though harmless, had undoubtedly left a lasting impression and perhaps a tad bit of hesitancy towards leafy greens. The Masterpiece In modern art, abstractionism reigns supreme, a mesmerizing dance between chaos and intention. Artists dab, splash, and swish their brushes, creating masterpieces that evoke a spectrum of emotions, pushing boundaries beyond conventional aesthetics. This realm of the avant-garde is not for the faint of heart, and only a few truly master it. Among them stands the iconic American artist Jackson Pollock, a beacon of the abstract movement, whose pieces are magnets for high-profile art collectors, fetching breathtaking sums at global auctions. While many debate Pollock's unique style, 
alternating between admiration and skepticism, an Arizona resident chanced upon an art piece that seemed oddly familiar, draped in the swirling chaos that Pollock championed. This painting wasn't just an old family heirloom. It once belonged to Jackson's sister, Jennifer Gordon, a known figure in the 20th century art circles, mingling with the era's influential artists and gallerists. With pulsating anticipation, the painting's new owner sought expertise, unveiling the piece to an appraiser whose jaw dropped in sheer disbelief. The canvas screamed Pollock's essence, and its lineage to Gordon added depth to its history and authenticity. Preliminary appraisals hinted at a valuation soaring to a mind-boggling $15 million. It was an inheritance like no other, a silent legacy left by the owner's sister, a testament to the unpredictable and fascinating journeys that art masterpieces often embark upon. The Golden Gamble The alluring world of storage unit auctions is ripe with tales of risk-takers and treasure hunters, most of whom unearth worn-out heirlooms or stacks of faded memories. However, occasionally, the stars align, propelling an unsuspecting bidder into the limelight with a life-altering find. Meet John, our fortune's favorite, who ventured into this gamble of mysteries with an $11,000 bid, unknowingly purchasing his ticket to an unimaginable windfall. Hidden amidst the clutter in a nondescript blue Rubbermaid container lay his golden fleece, a spectacular stash of rare coins accentuated by shimmering gold and silver bars. The sheer brilliance of this hoard wasn't just in its luster, but its staggering value a whopping $500,000. Set against the backdrop of Contra Costa County, John's tale is a testament to the unpredictable charm of these storage auctions, a phenomenon popularized by riveting reality TV shows like Storage Wars and Auction Hunters. These auctions unveil their secrets in the sun-soaked lands of California. Here, if a storage rent remains unpaid for three months, its contents are thrust onto the auction block. Bidders are allowed a fleeting peek into these time capsules before placing their bets, making each auction a heart-pounding blend of intuition, luck, and strategy. With finds like John's, the siren call of these storage vaults promises more than just dusty trinkets, but potential treasures for those brave enough to embrace the gamble. The Piano's Secret Dive into a mesmerizing tale from the heart of the UK, where an unassuming vintage piano was about to rewrite its history. Martin Backhouse, a seasoned piano tuner, was called to a local college to fine-tune a recently donated antique piano. As his skilled fingers danced over the keys, an unusual resonance echoed back, piquing his curiosity. Delving deeper into the piano's innards, Martin unearthed several cloth-wrapped bundles. Initially dismissing them as a playful jest, his skepticism was shattered upon unveiling their contents. Glistening under the dim room light was a trove of ancient coins, their history and value palpable to even an untrained eye. The humble piano, crafted in early 20th century London, had an intriguing past. Acquired in 1983, its previous caretakers remained blissfully unaware of the fortune they harbored. Upon professional evaluation, the cash was appraised at a staggering 500,000 pounds. But in a twist of fate and law, the original owners saw none of the newfound bounty. The UK's treasure regulations declared Martin and the college as the rightful beneficiaries, each securing half of the valued hoard. The original owner's chapter in the piano saga ended with neither acknowledgement nor compensation, leaving behind a tale of serendipity, legacy, and the unpredictability of fortune. Bob Kitts In 2008, Bob Kitts, a diligent builder, embarked on a standard remodeling job. As his tools chipped away at the bathroom walls, the last thing he expected was a rain of banknotes. Hidden within the confines of the wall was a staggering sum of $182,000, a silent witness to stories from another era. Though the find might seem like a windfall, it rapidly spiraled into a maze of complexities. Bob and the homeowner, Amanda R., grappled with decisions on splitting the treasure. Amanda's confession of her dire financial straits added another layer to the unfolding drama. 
the intrigue deepened when it was revealed that the fortune was stashed away by Patrick Dunn, a prosperous businessman from a bygone era. Dunn, during a period of economic turbulence, had concealed this wealth, a move that unknowingly tethered 21 of his descendants to this concealed cash. The story of this Depression-era bounty, ironically, became a source of tension, dispute and dilemma for all who touched it, reminding us that not every treasure brings unbridled joy. The Tank Picture this, the sheer power and might of a military tank. These formidable machines, icons of battlefield dominance, evoke a sense of awe. For enthusiasts, they're not just metal giants, they're a thrill waiting to be experienced. In an unsuspecting corner of the UK, one tank aficionado's passion was about to lead him to a discovery beyond his wildest dreams. Scouring eBay, he chanced upon a relic from history, an ex-Iraqi Army Type 69 tank. Yes, believe it or not, tanks on eBay. Seizing the opportunity, he soon had the massive machine under his care. As he and his technician embarked on their restoration project, curiosity drove them to explore every nook and cranny of their purchase, fully expecting to unearth old munitions or wartime remnants. With cameras rolling to capture every moment, they pried open what seemed to be a regular diesel fuel tank. But instead of the cold, hard ammunition they anticipated, their hands met the soft gleam of pure gold. Five pristine bars, each weighing 12 pounds, lay hidden within the metallic beast. Their value? A jaw-dropping $2.4 million. From an eBay find to a gold-laden treasure trove, this tale is a testament to the adage that fortune favors the bold, and sometimes the bold drive tanks. The Mysterious Noblewoman of Zurich in the bustling city of Zurich, where modern day meets ancient history as construction paves the way for a thrilling archaeological discovery. As layers of earth were peeled back, a 2,000-year-old secret emerged, waiting to share its story. Hidden beneath lay an opulent Celtic woman whose burial site was unlike any other. This wasn't just any coffin. It was a masterpiece carved from an entire tree trunk. But who was she? Clad in a lavish woolen dress, draped in a delicate shawl and leather robes, her appearance whispered tales of nobility. An intricate necklace of amber and glass beads graced her neck, while her wrists shimmered with bronze bracelets, each piece hinting at her esteemed status. But the real allure was the immaculate preservation of her remains, a testament to a life of privilege, untouched by the toils of manual labor. This enthralling find isn't just about artifacts and bones, it's a gateway to the past, a vivid portrait of a noblewoman, her life and the world she once inhabited. Dive in with us as we unravel the mysteries of a long time. The Half Million Dollar Declaration Have you ever walked into a thrift store, hoping to unearth a hidden gem? This tale of discovery will ignite your adventurer's spirit. In the heart of Nashville's Music City thrift, Michael Sparks chanced upon what seemed like an ordinary aged piece of parchment. But this wasn't just any old document, it was a glimpse into the very soul of a nation. For a mere $2.48, Michael became the proud owner of a piece of history. But this wasn't just any rendition of the Declaration of Independence. It was an exceptionally rare copy, one of only 200, commissioned by none other than President John Quincy Adams in 1820. Realizing he had stumbled upon a national treasure, Michael took this iconic piece to the spotlight it deserved, an auction at Rayner's Historical Collectible Auctions in North Carolina. As the gavel poised to strike, the opening bid wasn't in the hundreds, but a jaw-dropping $125,000. Six fervent bidders vied for this relic, battling through phone and online platforms. The climax? A whopping winning bid of $477,640. The identity of the victor? Shrouded in mystery, heightening the allure. Monopoly a game of strategy, capitalism, and occasionally broken alliances. We've all ventured around its board, bargaining and bickering, 
But imagine the thrill of peeling back the carpet in your new home to reveal a colossal Monopoly board engraved onto the floor. Every square, from Baltic Avenue to Boardwalk, is recreated grandly. The awestruck homeowners swiftly shared their discovery online, igniting nostalgia and amazement. Tales poured into homes, hiding life-sized game boards, evoking wonder and whimsy. Such a magnificent find begs the question, would you flaunt this playful masterpiece or keep it as your little secret? If this were my home, guests would be in for quite the game night surprise. If you enjoyed our video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.